nothing like a good strong cup of coffee early in the morning it's a new week gentlemen ladies and gentlemen out there and I hope your weekend was well I got a little something I want to show you guys so if you stick around a second here I'll be back and I'll show you two things I've been working on be back in a split Okay, so here we are. Um, I added the decals. I still need to go in and weather those. Um, with these uh, bolts and nuts and all that, I'm going to add some streaking on there. Same thing with here. I'm going to add some rust streaks coming down from there and then right in here on these little greeblies that are up here. But I've got the decals down. This is a uh, right there, that mortise and that glorium. That's from a uh, Warhammer 40K. And then these uh, these skulls and this and this are um, custom ones. This is, of course, it's part of the Machini Krieger. And then this one up here, this Metallica, Sepula Metallica, that's um, also War, Warhammer. Um, but, I mean, it's not glued, so I'm going to do this. As you can see, also I got this from a uh, Airfix 148, I believe it was. No, 172nd. Might have been one, no, 148, 172nd. And I cut it up. I was a P51 Mustang. I cut the, the the decals and then added it. I still need to go in and touch all this up and you know. But as you can see here, I started. Let me see if I can get in just a little closer to show you guys. Come on, focus, focus, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the way the light's bouncing off the metal. Um, but I started adding right in here all the burn marks um if i can get this to focus just a little better there it is whoops sorry about that and then move for just a light just a little bit here um as you can see i started adding some a uh, burnt metal look to it there and on this one here again um you'll have to forgive me um the way the light's bouncing off of this, I'll take better pictures of it and I'll show you guys um, when I'm done with it and you'll be able to see um, how that really looks. I mean, it, it, it looks really good. See, if I hit it with the light, you can't really see it. Um, let me back up a little bit and maybe do it this way. Um, it looks like burnt metal, guys. It really does. And if you can notice in there, I'm starting to add all the different shades of um, dirt to it. To the metal look like right in there and then right up underneath here i'm starting to dirty her up a little bit let me get this this way a little bit maybe that'll help you'll be able to see what i'm talking about now that, that light's bouncing off of that so let me get up closer no that's not gonna work there it is sorry guys i'm Went back to my old camera for a quick one and, you know, it's just, it's not doing it a good job. Anyway, there's the, the rusting and the dirtying up of the metal that I'm doing with it. Um, it's a slow process and layers upon layers, but um, I think it's going to look nice. I'm really liking the way it's looking like right around here. Um, I'm tr I got to go back in and right around those well marks and dirty those up and then do a little uh, heat staining on there like somebody was welding on it. So... That's what we got here. The other thing that's pretty cool. Um, oh, let me go back to this guy right here. Um, I have this. Um, and I'm starting, as you can see, like right down there, doing the same thing with the different shades of surface rust and dirt. I also did, uh, on the back plate of it, put some graffiti on that. And then I need to go in and then dirty that up and then touch up like the corners of the graffiti but there's the graffiti this was a a, um, a decal I got from a, it's a HO scale decal for you know like the trains and stuff so I just add that, added that on there I was going to do it on my own but I thought nah 
I'll just do it this way. I had it, slap it on there, get it over with. And that's, of course, the eight. And I just cut the eight and slap this on top of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the airbrush and just feather the corners of the, right around there to give it that look like it's been, you know, painted. I got to come in and just, like, chip up right around the edges here and then dirty it up. I don't want this chipped all the hell. I just want it dirty. So, anyway, that's what we got here with uh, the machining creek. Now, the other thing I have been working on, let me get this out of the way here. Let me put that over here before it falls down and breaks. Is this guy. This is Ravel's, uh, it's an older 1968 VW. And what I've done here, as you can see, is I chopped the roof. And that's going to be the stance on. I chopped the roof. Um, I ended up having to chop back here. This, this, And I'll show you that in a second. This is the stance I wanted in. Actually, this is supposed to come up just a little bit higher. But this is the way it's going to look. This will probably sit up just like that, a little higher. So that's the stance I'm going for right here. So, and then these are um, Mickey Thompson's. That I, I got these tires from Mopar Modeler, my buddy James. You know, thank you very much, James. This is him right here. You guys go check him out. The Mopar Modeler. He's got his, I'll leave the... It's right here, Mopar Modeler. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check him out. But I think it's coming out pretty cool. I've got a, um, a resin big block coming in for it with some velocity stacks. Um, I'm going to have to rearrange all of this on the inside to get the, 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 the motor, the transmission, the rear end, all of that in there. So here, let me show you guys. Let me take this off. Again, I just have it on there just so I can see. But let me focus in a little better come on you focus darn it i hate this damn thing now being my first chop what i ended up doing and it was probably the wrong thing to do but again my first chop on a plastic model what i did was uh, i'm just gonna leave it there um i split it here and then i cut you know the eight pillars and all that so what I ended up doing was when I sat it down, I, I flattened it a little bit. As you can see right in there, I flattened it. And I'm going to have to fix that. You know, put a little bondo on it and smooth that down. But anyway, I flattened it out so it'll fit here. And what I used here, instead of the CA glue and all that, that uh, uh, Andres, you know, uh, laying low hobbies was telling me, I wanted to put some sprue glue in there and give it a couple of days to, to you know, take it. And I'll go in there and sand it. I still need to add a support beam on the inside of this, on the front and the back. But I had to do the same thing here. I split this piece here. That's, there's tape on there. You can't really see it. But I split it in half. I cut the same amount that I cut here off, a um, little under a quarter inch, and then brought this in. And I did the same with uh, the, the rear, the motor head uh, hood right here. I also chopped off a heck of a lot right here. I took off the the fenders. I took off, I, and in the front, I shaped them. I took off, they were about to here, so I shaped them in a little bit. And the same thing here, I cut a little bit more to give it that arc. Um, and then the same thing with the, the frame. I had to do the same thing right in here, just shape it. Now I'm going to have to go in, and all this is going to have to be filled in. Uh, same thing with the front here, and I'll fill out, I'll make, um, I have the pieces that I cut out here that I might be able to put in here. If not, I can just fabricate my own, but I'm going to have to make pieces here. Now, I was talking to a couple of people and say, hey, leave it alone, don't do it. I don't know, we'll see. I might uh, fabricate something here, I might not. It all depends on how that motor sits in there. But I'm going to have to put a firewall in here and all that, but I have a... Um, scoop you know what do you call that visor coming that i'm going to add on this so yeah but this is my uh first attempt at a chop guys so i guess the the car bug really hit me hard man it, it, it really did and you know you see some beautiful work out there i've been meaning to to do some some chopping on cars and stuff and i just didn't just didn't have the time and i couldn't get around to it but um yeah man uh i'm, I'm really excuse my phone 
I'm really into this. I was, um, I got to put a uh, fuel tank in the back. Um, now that I got this the way I want it, I, I have to start working on, in order for that motor, I can't do anything until that motor comes in. And once that motor comes in, I'll figure out how I'm going to run the transmission, the drive shaft, and the rear end. And all the work that's going to be done on the inside of this so everything will fit. So until that motor comes in uh, from Andres, I, there's just really nothing I can do about it. If not, I'll just snag one off of, out of a kit that I have here and slap it in there. But, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, man. Um, my first chop. So. So that's, that's what we got going here, guys. Um, we, um, I, I, any, any, uh, <laughs> any advice you guys can give on these, um, let me know, guys. You know, really, let me know. Um, this should be done sometime this week. As soon as it gets done, I'll have a, a I'll start working on the base. The other thing that I started working on, because I can't leave well enough and all, and I'm forever messing with stuff, was this little cat right here. This is a um, a Wrath of Kin Kings figure, and I don't I don't have the name of it right offhand, so forgive me, but uh, it's it's a pretty cool guy, you know. So this is another thing that I'm working on. There's some little dog rat dogs that go right here, so you know, kind of reminds me of some people I know. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll be back in a second, guys, and wrap this all up. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think of that bug. Um, Again, I'm going to let it sit and let some of that sprue goo uh, harden up a little bit. Uh, and then I'll put it, go in there and I'll add some support to it. Um, I'm going to let it sit for a while because I, I, I want to wait till that motor comes in. And again, um, I don't know when that'll be, but I got to wait for the motor to come in and then figure out uh, how I'm going to position the, the, the engine, the transmission, um, the rear end and all that stuff. And uh, I'll probably end up... Uh, either uh, buying some aftermarket, uh, an aftermarket front end, or I'll just take one and, and just build my own springs and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, the machining Krieger should be done sometime this week, and I'll start working on the base. But, uh, yeah, I'll put the VW off. So just let me know what you guys think down below. So that's it for me, guys. Um, I had a few other things I wanted to get into, but uh, this is running a little longer, and I'll probably discuss that in a little uh, update sometime during the week uh, you know about the state of the community and what we see happening around here um, lately I've been seeing a lot of uh, uh, what I call the masterpiece theater modelers the guys with their smoking jackets ascots come out of the woodwork and you know they look down on you man so we'll have something to say about that a little later on um, as far as that's concerned you know I want to remind those brothers out there. I mentioned this though in my last video and I'll say it again please for all of you out there that are afraid to post your work because you think people are going to look down on it, don't, brothers. You can always, there's many communities out there, but I'll just speak about mine in general. The Styrene Syndicate and Red Dragon Model Works uh, and his League of Extraordinary Sprue Cutters. If you want to post your work and in a place where people will look at it and give you, and if you ask for some, some um, tips and tricks, you'll find them there. There are other communities out there. My, my, you know, and, and, and many of them are too numerous to name today. It'll take forever. But um, I, I encourage you guys to join the community. Um, that's how you learn. You get the back and forth. Don't be afraid to uh, post your work. And you know what? When you do come across the Masterpiece Theater, Smithsonian type uh, builders, they, they, they do beautiful stuff. They really do. But it's been my experience, the last three that I've come across, that you're, you're, you're just a bug to them. So better leave them alone and give them a wide berth. Although they do do, make, do do some beautiful work. But the last three that I've encountered were some of the snootiest SOBs I've ever you know had the, the mispleasure of speaking to in this community. But for the most part, everyone else is uh, pretty down to earth and... You know, they remember that they put their legs on or their pants on one leg at a time. I'd like to say it's good to see that Dr. Cranky, Virgil, it's good to see that brother back. You know, I love his guitars. You know, the man is, is a talented, talented artist, you know, and he's got some, some wacky ideas, but that's usually where, 
you get some of the brilliance from people like that, you know, where they, they just, they're all over left field with it. Same thing, uh, uh, Jan Hare, he mentioned that uh, about CT Speed Shop, and now he was poof, gone. Where you at, CT? You know, I'm calling you out here, brother. You know, put a video up. Let's see let's see some of your work. I know uh, you'd be, you, you're you busy, man, but uh, what have you been up to? And the same thing with our friend Brian, man, Atomic Dog 32. This brother right here, Atomic Dog 32, uh, he's been MIA. And like Jan says, I think the dog catcher's got him, you know. He might be sitting in the pound. We need to have to spring him, you know. So, <laughs> anyway. I urge each and every one of you, if you're not a member of Red Dragon Model Works and the League of Extraordinary Sprue Cutters on Facebook and on Google+, Plus, please, here's the, here's the, you can go here, I'll leave the link below. And of course, as always, the Styrene Syndicate, Facebook page, Google+, Plus page, the, league will be, or the, league, the link will be down below. You all have a great week, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, you know, enjoy your families, love your children, brothers and sisters, love them. Leave the drama to the queens, man. You know, leave the dude bros to the dude bros and the douche bros to the douche bros. And just remember, brothers, it's not a hobby if it isn't fun. So enjoy it. You guys, again, have a great week, man. We'll see you sometime, I don't know, about Thursday or Friday and maybe throw up a hangout by then. Until then, y'all be good, man, and build a damn model, man. That's what Dragon's saying. Peace. Ciao, brothers and sisters. <laughs>